It was a royal day at Guildford. All the town turned out to greet the Queen and Prince Philip, making the first official visit of a reigning monarch to the historic town since Charles II came in 1660. The present visit commemorated the 700th anniversary of the granting of the first charter to Guildford by Henry III. Many times through the centuries since then, Guildford has played an important part in the affairs of Surrey. The Queen and Duke proceeded to the Guildhall, outside which a great crowd cheered their appearance on the balcony. Here, the Queen was presented with a loyal address by the Mayor, Alderman Harold Kimber. A less formal ceremony followed when the High Steward, the Earl of Onslow, made the traditional gift of plum cake, an eight-pounder capable of satisfying a lot of royal appetites. Guildford's glories are not by any means all in the past. Her present pride is the cathedral now being built. Her Majesty and the Duke drove to the wonderful site on which the building stands. It is appropriate that Guildford, as one of the important county centres of Surrey, should lead no less in spiritual matters. Bricks signed by the Queen and Prince Philip will be used in the new cathedral. The next royal engagement to which the Queen and Duke now drove was at Shawford Park. There they watched episodes in the history of the city enacted in a spectacular pattern. Then came a visit to the county match Surrey were playing with poor Hansa. Peter May's habit of winning earlier than the schedule prevented the Queen seeing the Lord's Test match. This time the skipper and his Surrey men had the honour of being presented. <laughs> 